वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन 5.75 एंड द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज कंप्यूटर टेक्नोलॉजी हैज प्रोड्यूस्ड एन एनवायरनमेंट इन व्हिच रोबोट्स ऑपरेट विद द यूज ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट अ रोबोट फेल्स ड्यूरिंग एनी 6 आवर शिफ्ट इज 0.10 व्हाट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट अ रोबोट विल ऑपरेट थ्रू एट मोस्ट 5 शिफ्ट्स बिफोर इट फेल्स ओके सो द गिवन डाटा हियर इज द the probability of failure is let me call it p this is 0.1 so it basically says that the probability of the success which is q is 1 minus p which is 1 minus 0.1 so ultimately this is 0.9 so what do we want to find out we want to find out the probability that x is what what is the probability that a robot will operate through at most five shifts okay so at most five shifts means the maximum number of the shifts here are which will be operated successfully will be five so x should be less than or equal to six okay so if there will be five shifts successful the sixth one will be the what that will be the failure shift okay so that's why this is basically relevant with the geometric probability distribution and here in order to find this one what do we have to do we have to write all the values which ranges from 1 to what to 6 okay so therefore here if it is i so i will be from 1 to 6 and here it would be g which is for geometric it will be i and the probability of failure is 0.1 so therefore writing it here it would be g1 0.1 or g2 shifts 0.1 or g3 shifts 0.1 or geometric probability of four shifts and the failure is 0.1 and also here g five shifts 0 0.1 plus g of six shifts 0 0.1 okay so let me write their values here if the first shift is the failure shift so it will be what it will be only the failure one and it would be 0 0.1 similarly if there are two shifts and in first shift it works successfully and in the second shift it fails it will be here which follows the geometric probability distribution and here it is for the three shifts two will be the successful ones okay and the last one here would be what this will be the failure similarly for the four shifts it will be 0 0.9 are the three shifts and 0 0.1 is what that is basically the failure shift okay for this one here it will be four shifts which are the success shifts and this is the failure one and the last one which is for six one okay which are basically the indication of the five successful shifts and the last one is the failure one so here we would get this one because the statement if you read it again what is the probability that a robot will operate through at most five shifts before it fails so this is the at most condition that it will work through five shifts and then it will be failed okay so these are all the conditions which are what which basically indicates the failure or the working of the robot when it is less than or equal to five okay so adding them all together and first of all let me take the 0 0.1 common here it would be one plus 0 0.9 plus 0 0.9 square plus 0 0.9 cube plus 0 0.9 4 plus 0 0.9 this power 5 okay so finding the answer of it adding them all together and then writing the answer of it the answer of it would be 0 0.4686 okay so that is what that is basically the solution of the question which we were solving okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 5.75 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon